Regardless of what you've heard, the 14.1 inch iPad is going to be an iPad Pro. What's going on YouTube, it's Geek. Uh, today I just wanted to address some of the rumors I've been hearing around the 14.1 inch iPad blank, right? So a lot of this is circling around Ross Young, who's an extremely accurate leaker rumor guy, uh, who's saying that this iPad is going to be a regular iPad or something lesser than the Pro. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that's that's not gonna happen. So hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss this. We cover all things iPad Pro, Apple Talk, Tech, and Pro Audio. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. Before we get started, if you like the music in this video, check out the link down below as always to my friends over at Upbeat. I think it is the absolute best subscription service for audio for your YouTube videos. Um, obviously no licensing issues, none of, none of those problems. I use them in every video that I've done since I found them and I really think you're gonna like it. Best subscription price out there. So again, check it out and let's get into this. Now, I know that all these rumors once again circle around Ross Young, who's the man, right? So he's super accurate with the leaks and getting all this information. But what he's missing as with a lot of the tech industry is the philosophy of these companies and their strategies. And once again, this is something that Apple has always done. They would never go against their own design philosophy and strategy and all these things. And Apple would never take a regular iPad nothing, okay, and give it any feature, period, that usurps or surpasses their pro line of products. Let me say that again, and I know you're gonna say, oh, well, M1 uh, on a base model MacBook Air beat, you know, an Intel i7 and stuff like that. I'm talking about per class of chips, right? Uh, per class or per year of releases. They're not going to release an M2 iPad Pro that is 12.9 inches along with a 14.1 inch iPad nothing. We would know at that point that it would be a gigantic waste of space. That thermal envelope on a 14.1 inch iPad that does not have an M series chip, that does not have spatial audio speakers, that does not have 120 hertz or higher refresh rate, that does not have Thunderbolt, all of these things that does not have, that just does not have, um, we know it would be a waste. And typically consumers, right, they see bigger as better in general. And while that's not always the case, certainly pros would want a 14.1 inch display as well, and they'd be willing to pay for it. We already know that Apple is making 14-ish inch displays at XDR level at 120 hertz because we have the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Um, so this would be a new class of display for this random 14 inch iPad nothing. Uh, this thing would be such a lousy device. And first of all, I don't even hear anybody clamoring for uh, a 14 inch iPad nothing, at least the iPad Air, um, but certainly not the iPad Pro. There is no way they would leapfrog the iPad Pro and give us a 14.1 inch iPad nothing. The thermal envelope on it alone from the bigger screen size could give us M2 Pro maybe as a chip. It could give us 120 hertz or higher refresh rate, right? Um, possibly two Thunderbolt ports, because remember we're getting more space in the actual device and we know how much power they can cram into cram into the 12.9 inch size. Um, so if they're getting nearly an inch bigger at that point, certainly we could get another Thunderbolt controller. Um, we could flip that camera over to the landscape side as that's how many people would obviously be using that. Uh, I think this is honestly ridiculous. No matter what the rumors, I, I may eat my words, you know, but this is the same kind of thinking that had us predicting what was going to happen with the iPad Pro over a year before before it happened. Um, so you can check out my videos on that to see that this thinking does work and this is what a lot of the tech industry is not getting. They're just jumping and leaping after the latest rumors flip-flopping and no offense to Ross, but you know, he also, when he first came out with this rumor said that it would be for the iPad Pro and then he flipped on that and said that it would be for a regular iPad. So I think the whole industry is gonna come back around to thinking this is going to be a Pro device. Now, I would either say it's going to be an iPad Pro or not an iPad at all. I've heard everything from this being a a, some sort of widescreen center stage device to just being like a kitchen home FaceTime device of sorts, all, all different kinds of things. But if it's going to be an iPad, I say it's iPad Pro. So this one's gonna be short and sweet. I'm not gonna waste your time here, but uh, stick around, see if I'm right. Hit the like button, subscribe, uh, so you don't miss, as of course we cover all things, iPad Pro, Apple Talk, Tech, Pro Audio, 
uh, this is the place to be for that kind of stuff. So the new beta, beta two for iPad OS 16 just came out. I downloaded it. I've been messing around with it. And man, external display support is still wonky for me. Uh, some other YouTubers I've been talking to, they seem to be having a fine time with it, but maybe it's just my peripherals or whatever. I've tried several other things as well, and it's just, it's not working for me. But I'll make a video on that very soon, so you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granny Geek Show.